Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this Ethereum price analysis. We're gonna cover the Ethereum US dollar pair and also the Ethereum Bitcoin pair. So first before we start big shout out to all the Ethereum holders. Currently we are hitting again new all time highs. This morning Ethereum had over $1,480 and with that we created a new all-time high. So let's analyze if we're gonna see here continuation to the upside potentially to our target here up to $1,700 or if maybe first we're gonna get another little pullback. So here in the four hour time frame, you can see that currently we could get very soon here a sell signal. So in my opinion, in the four hour time frame, it looks like that we are getting here a bit resistance from this red trend line. If we connected the last two tops, you can see that we came very close to this resistance up here at around $1,500. And here is where I'm expecting a possible pullback down to the 20 MA here at around $1,300, potentially even down towards the main support that we currently have at around $1,100. If you want to buy more Ethereum or scale in some nice long positions over on Bybit, then maybe wait here for a pullback because in the four hour time frame it looks like that we might get here very soon a little pullback before we continue to go higher because Ethereum is looking very bullish my friends and I think here we could maybe repeat something similar like we had in the Bitcoin chart once we hit at this 20k and then immediately pushed up towards 30 and 40k so on Ethereum we could see maybe a possible scenario as well also depending of course what the Bitcoin dominance is going to do because if the Bitcoin dominance is getting here a big bounce to the upside then of course this could be a possible danger for Ethereum because in that case a lot of money from Ethereum and in general from altcoins will float potentially into Bitcoin again. So let's wait and see what will happen here in the next couple of four hour closes because in my opinion we could get a pullback here if the Bitcoin dominance is starting to increase again. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can also see here that currently we are still a bit overbought. And also if we have a look here into the RSI, you can see that we have lower highs in the RSI and higher highs in the price, which of course is a bearish divergence. And therefore we could see here a potential pullback towards the 9 or 20 daily moving average. So between 1,300 to 1,230. And if we're coming down to those levels, I think then it is also very likely that we maybe even come down here to retest this main support trend line that we have currently at $1,100. So watch out for these targets if you want to buy some more Ethereum or also to scale in some nice longs because I think we could form here a potential bull flag which will take us to way higher prices if the Bitcoin dominance is not increasing too much because in that case most of this money will float back into Bitcoin but if the Bitcoin dominance continues to fall or starts to trade sideways then I think here on Ethereum we could see big fireworks to the upside which will take us at least towards $1,700 potentially even above $2,000 because if we go over into the weekly time frame and we do a Fibonacci measurement from the bottom that we had at around $80 and the old all-time high of $1,400 this gives us a Fibonacci extension price level exactly at $2,250 so the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level Level based on the price data that we had so far from the old all-time high and the all-time low that we ever had in Ethereum this would give us a price target of around $2,200 and that's why I think this price level is very easy to get reached for Ethereum because in my opinion Ethereum is still very undervalued and if we're gonna see same fireworks here to the upside same like we have seen in the Bitcoin price once we broke out from 20k I think this price price target here is very easy to get reached before we're gonna see any kind of bigger pullback or correction in the Ethereum price. 
So what we could see here in the next couple of days is maybe another little pullback to retest one of these important supports that we have. But overall, also Ethereum, I think, looks very bullish for the bigger time frames. And you should also consider to have some Ethereum here for the next big parabolic move to the upside, which of course will also come here in the Ethereum price. So if you want to trade here a breakout from this resistance that we have currently at around $1,500, then make sure to wait till at least we're gonna get some four hour closes above $1,500, then scale in some nice long positions and ride it up towards 2 K because like this you can really do some nice gains and of course in the worst case scenario that we're gonna fall below the support currently at around 1100 you can also open up a short position but therefore wait at least for four hour closes below 1100 even better below the 200 moving average which currently is at $1000 because if we're gonna fall again below $1000 I think we will come down to retest this important support first here at around $925 and if this this one will not hold we maybe even come down here to test the 750 to 580 dollars area which also previously was a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a very strong support so watch out for those levels if ethereum is not able to hold these prices up here but in my opinion ethereum is looking very bullish and we should expect here a breakout to the upside even though a little pullback is here in the cards in the lower time frames and if we go over into the bitcoin pair you can see that also here in the four hour we're getting currently a sell signal so we could see here a potential pullback towards one of these important supports that we have especially this one over here at around 38,000 sets so if we see here a pullback then i think we're gonna get a retest here at around 38,000 and then gear up for another big move to the upside because since we are breaking now this huge resistance area that we also had here in the past at around 38,000. We could be now heading towards our next potential resistance point, which is up here at around 54,000 sets. So like this, if you're switching from some Bitcoin into Ethereum, you can also multiply your Bitcoins. If you're of course making this flip trade where you can easily just switch some Bitcoin into Ethereum. And once we're gonna reach here, this resistance point up here, you can switch back into Bitcoin because like this, you can also multiply your Bitcoin if you want to trade like that. Of course, if you just want to buy and hold Ethereum, you don't have to care too much about this pair. But if you want to try to multiply your Bitcoins with Ethereum, then watch out for this potential next target because this one here was previously a big support area. And right now it could be a huge resistance point right here at 54,000 sets. So if we're coming up to this level, I'm expecting some resistance up here, maybe then another fall here, a retest of this new support that we would have then here at around 38,000 sets and then gear up again for another the big move to the upside so this target up here is in my opinion the next big resistance that ethereum could face here at least compared to the bitcoin price so if you're currently sitting into some ethereum and you're planning to switch over into bitcoin so to take some profits back into bitcoin then wait here until we're gonna test and come up to this level here at around 54,000 sets of course in the daily time frame we are still looking a bit overbought here even in the bitcoin pair and we could get the sell signal pretty soon it is possible that first we're coming down again to test this 38,000 sets support and then gear up towards 54,000 so if we're gonna see that scenario you maybe switch some more bitcoins into ethereum and then once we're gonna see here this big push towards 54,000 that you then switch back into Bitcoin and lock in those profits. So this is my expectation here in the next couple of days and weeks for the Ethereum to Bitcoin pair that we're gonna reach and test here these 54,000 sets. And this is where most likely also myself, I may be gonna switch some Ethereum back into Bitcoin. Of course, we still have a lot of room left to the upside. It is possible that we will go higher than 54,000, maybe older to reach again this area up here between 67 to 80,000 sets. But I think here at 54,000, we're gonna face some initial resistance and there maybe we're gonna see a pullback. So then we maybe can reaccumulate some more Ethereum if we're gonna have a retest down at those levels here at around 40,000 sets.
So since Ethereum is breaking out right now from this important resistance here, I think we're gonna see also here some big fireworks to the upside. And I'm also very bullish here for the long term for the Ethereum price. So that's why my friends, next to Bitcoin is also good to hold some Ethereum. And if you still need to buy some Ethereum or you want an exchange where you can easily flip from Ethereum to Bitcoin or from Fiat into Ethereum and so on, then make sure to use Binance. Binance is the best exchange to trade altcoins and here you can even stake some Ethereum or other altcoins and get paid daily with interest. So if you're staking and holding here some altcoins, also Bitcoin, Fiat, whatever, you will get daily interest. So make sure that you have this Binance account is completely for free. Everyone can join it. You can also use my referral link down below here for Binance because like this, you can also get some passive money in Ethereum. So if you like the content, my friends, please hit that like button, also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see my Bitcoin TA video from today, then make sure to be subscribed here on the channel to get always notified and go to the video that is popping up at the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.